Hello, this is Ken with Microsurvey. I'd like to show you a new feature we've added to Field Genius for Android in our version 1.6 release. We've now added the capability to define custom coordinate systems in Field Genius for Android. So you do that when you set up a new project. I'm just going to tap the new project button here. You can put in a project name, set up your units, and when you get to your coordinate system, select the more options. Uh, little hamburger on the right and load your coordinate system options. So we still provide all the predefined coordinate systems you can select, but if you need to define a custom coordinate system now, go ahead and tap the custom coordinate system option um, buttons and then select define new. I've already done that in this case, so what I'm going to do is just open up the uh, UAE1 custom coordinate system I've set up and edit it so you can see what needs to be put into the custom coordinate system. You provide the name that will show up uh, in your list, your ellipsoid parameters, the radius, uh, equatorial radius, polar radius, that'll then calculate the inverse flattening. Uh, you can select your datum type and you can select from a number of different options for the datum type. Uh, in this case I'm using a seven parameter datum, and then go ahead and input your custom coordinate values here for the delta, x, y, and z, your scale factor, and then your rotation for the x, y, and z as well. Once you've got those entered, you can then come down and select your projection type. Uh, in this case, uh, we're using the transverse Mercator projection. And once you've selected that, you can then go ahead and enter the information you need for the central meridian, latitude of origin, your scale, and any false easting or northing you need for your custom coordinate system. When done, go ahead and hit the Save button. This will now show up uh, on the list, drop down under Custom Coordinate System. And to select one, you just need to open the drop down and tap the Custom Coordinate System to select it and then go back and complete uh, the other options for your new project and create the project. So I've already done that and I'm just going to open up the uh, UAA demo project. One of the nice things about Field Genius for Android is we do take whatever coordinate system you're in and do the transformations to display it on the map so that you can see all our background maps. And in this case, what you see is that our location now uh, is in, uh, in this case, uh, United Arab Emirate, and you get the northing and easting and height in the custom coordinate system. One thing to note is if you uh, need to edit your custom coordinate system, uh, you need to actually open a different project than the one you're working in so that the coordinate system's not in use. Uh, so in this case, I'm just going to open up a project, a different project, uh, go back to custom coordinate systems. And now when I create a new system, that gets me to where I can access the coordinate systems. So I'll load all my coordinate systems. The uh, UAE1 is now not in use, so it's available and I can select the edit option. If it is in use, you will get a warning screen, and that's the process you have to do to go back and edit the custom coordinate system. Thanks.